a rich man's guava, Arca Kiran and Arca Mridula guava hybrids from ICARIIHR. Guava, commonly known as a poor man's apple, is an important commercial fruit crop of India. It is very popular due to its high nutritional and medicinal value. It can be cultivated well in both tropical and subtropical climates with assured yields. Broadly, the guava varieties are classified into white pulps and red pulps. Keeping in view of the importance of this crop, research work at IAHR resulted in the development of several varieties. Recent uh, release is Arka Kiran, which is a red flesh variety. Among the white flesh varieties, Arka Mirdula, which is a selection from Allahabad Safeda, has gained popularity among the farmers. Arka Kiran is a high yielding hybrid of guava suitable for high density cropping. It bears medium sized round fruits of average weight of 200 grams which has got high lycopene content up to 7.14 milligrams per 100 grams and TSS of 12 degree bricks. Arka Mridula, it is a white flushed hybrid suitable for medium density cropping. Fruits are round and medium sized, about 200 grams. Seeds are soft and fruits are rich in pectin content with TSS of 12 degree bricks. The planting can be taken during monsoon season with a spacing of four by three meters. The pitch size should be 45 into 60 cubic centimeters and filled with enriched farmyard manure. At the time of planting, care should be taken to see that the grafted portion should be above the ground. The newly planted seedlings need to be irrigated at an interval of two to three days. Gawa responds well to fertilizer application. As a general recommendation, 900, 600, 600 grams of NPK per plant per year is applied and it is applied in two split doses which coincides with monsoon. Fruit fly is a major problem which needs to be controlled by integrated management. The fallen fruits should be collected and uh, fruits should not be allowed to ripe on the tree and fruit fly traps at the rate of five to six per acre is recommended for control of fruit flies. Fruit canker is a major problem which can be recommended by spraying Dite Z78 at the time of fruit setting, 2.5 grams per liter as a foliar spray. Guava starts yielding two years after planting and economic yield starts fifth year onwards. The tree can be maintained up to 15 to 18 years. The yield varies from 65 to 80 kgs per plant at a spacing of 4 into 3 meters. Since guava is a highly remunerative crop, even with minimum care, farmers can get a short yield. Mr. Krishnaya from Vijayawada will share his experience in developing guava nursery. Great variety which is going to be a boon to the farmers of India is a prolific yielder. So there is a lot of scope for export to Indian market for processing and for valuation also. Due to its nutrition value and high consumer preference, we can observe an increasing demand for guava. Even small, marginal and large farmers too can go for guava cultivation for doubling their income. Now, one can say guava has not remained only as poor man's apple, but now it's a rich man's guava too. Friends, kindly share your feedback on this video documentary about its technology, usefulness, its quality, content, duration, preference and suggestions to email bnswamikvk at the rate of gmail.com.